Hey, Pastor Joe here. Tuesday e-blast time. Didn't get it to you last week. I was actually took about five days off, which was really needed. I hadn't taken any extended time off this year, but I got some great news. So hold on. Let me talk to you about it. One is I am excited about the COVID-19 cases radically dropping in the state of Texas and our local areas. I mean, if you haven't, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to uh, the local news or even the major media because the state of Texas is not going to hell in a handbasket like they're talking about. I just got these off Texas COVID-19's webpage and you can go there yourself, just Google it up and you'll see how the numbers, this is this is March to August. This isn't the best way to show this chart, but you can see March to August and how just, you know, how it started going up here in July, just shot straight up. But since mid-July, look at this, is just over the last few weeks, that's dropped down below, these are daily cases, below what's being reported daily. And the bottom number there, when it was up around, uh, you know, thousands there, now, and now it's getting to, to it looks like we're less than 50. But look at the deaths that are going on. You saw this peak that took place in July. Now, this was last a few days ago. I think this was like six days ago, this chart was released. And this is way down here. That little bitty number dash right there is the deaths, how far they're going down in the daily death count. So great news. You know, things are happening in a very positive way. Uh, we went on our staff retreat part of the time that I was out of town and uh, met and discussed what the days that were coming up ahead. First, I just want to give a thank you to Brother Tim and Brother Gary. Our pastors, campus pastors, did a fantastic job on preaching the Sundays that I were gone. And I just praise God we have such a powerful preaching staff that God has given us at our church. And so I know you didn't miss a step. In fact, our numbers and attendance were even up the last couple of, of Sundays while I was out. So might take another one off. No, I'll be back Sunday. In fact, I'm going to preach a message entitled, How Did We Get Here? talking about the cultural chaos in America, so you don't want to miss that. But we're also looking forward to what we worked on at our staff retreat was to plan an event day called uh, Together or Regathering. Well, they're working on the name in the, in the back rooms, all right? But uh, you'll see it announced this Sunday, but it's going to be September the 13th, kind of a regathering of the church uh, as the numbers continue to go down. Those of you who are healthy, we're really encouraging you to come get back in church. If you feel like it's not safe, wear a mask, all right? Use the hand sanitizer when you come in. Use it when you leave. It's out there. It's available for everyone. We have masks if you don't have one. Uh, if you're going to Walmart eating out and all that kind of stuff, you need to get back in church, all right? If you're in a high risk, uh, we completely understand that. Nobody wants to guilt you or anything else in getting back to church. Uh, you know what your, your limitations are. But there's a lot of you that could be making your way back now, but you've let the enemy come in and sow a seed of fear in your heart, and you need to reject that. Uh, the, we're the people of God. We are the church. You know what Jesus said? He said, the gates of hell will not prevail it because this is my church. So as we think it's our church, it's really Jesus's church. We're the body, we're the bride, we're the family of God. And all those words, body, bride, flock, family, those New Testament words all talk of corporate fellowship, gathering, worshiping, communion, prayer together, seeking God's face together. So at Believer's Fellowship, we're not making plans for cutting back, trying to figure out how to reduce. We're looking at moving up, moving forward, and doing what God's called us to do. There's not one day during COVID-19 that your church staff, unless it was a day off, has not been busy serving the Lord. We consider the church the most essential people in the world, and that's hopefully all of us. So come back to church. Uh, let's get back in ministry. Read my newsletter article that was released. If you don't get the newsletter, you can get it by just email me, pastorjoe at bfchurch.com. We'll put you on the list. You'll get it monthly. Even if you're just a friend who watches from out of state or even out of country and you'd like to get it, I'll put you on that list and we, you'll get it along with the others. We release it monthly. It's a digital format. So I had an article there called Who's Coming Back? But I also list in there about seven people, uh, types of people that won't be returning to church because... All the things that COVID is, one thing it is, and a lot of things I don't think people have caught on to yet, is it is, you know, the devil is using it, but God's using it to refine his church. So there'll be folks that won't get back to the discipline uh, of uh, being in church. They'll also get not, they'll lose the discipline of prayer, the discipline of fellowship, the discipline of sharing, the discipline of uh, Bible study. So our church life is extremely important. So come on, be a part, because we're not going to stop. And we're not going to let up and we're not going to quit. And we're not going to give up during these days. We're going to keep believing God. Like, as I said, during this whole process, we continue to do ministry. Benevolence has been off the chart. We've done help, uh, done thousands upon thousands of dollars in the last months in helping people that are in crisis, not counting the food, the clothing, groceries that we provided, the ministry, the prayer. So the church is being the church and we need to continue that. But there will be a time 
when you're gonna to have to make your mind up and say, I'm not gonna let fear, if I'm a healthy individual, and I'm not gonna let fear keep me from what God's called me to, to be a part of his family, serving him faithfully in the body of Christ. So uh, that's over your pastor's heart. That's what we were looking at at our staff retreat. And we've set a date, September 13th, that process to begin the regathering and, and coming back together. We're just not going to let, you need to satisfy this, settle this in your own heart. We're just not going to let the devil stop us. All right. When the gates of hell, they will not prevail. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We're not going to bail out. We're not going to, and you've heard me say this before, we're not going to shut up and we're not going to let up till we get taken up. And I believe that day is very soon as well. So mark that day. Let's be praying for it. You'll see some information coming in the days ahead. It's about five, six weeks away, September 13th. But don't wait till then. Come on, get on board, and be a part of what the Holy Spirit is doing in the body of Christ in the church today. Good things coming up, and we'll be announcing them later. Just want to give you a quick update. I love you. Your pastors of the church love you. The leadership in this church loves you. Everybody's important. Don't let the devil be a, don't let the devil convince you of anything else. Come home. We love you. God bless you all. I'll see you Sunday.